Perspective changes everything. It's one of the lessons that I've learned and I live by it. But I was put to the test at the end of 2020. I gotta tell you, I just remember this moment where I'm sitting in my dad's basement. My kids and I have moved, we're living there now and everybody's remote. We had moved down from Chicago a few months earlier and they're still doing remote school from Chicago. So they're on calls and, and video conferences and Zoom classes all day long. I'm on Zoom because I'm working remote as well and I'm just trying to figure out how do we get to this place? I mean, I've just gone through a divorce. I've changed jobs. Oh, and by the way, I left one job and came back to the company that I worked at before. I changed jobs in February of 2020. So here in less than a year later, I've changed jobs again, I'm divorced, I moved and I'm living back with my dad and I am in my mid forties and I'm like, wait a minute, how did I get to this place? And this thing about perspective kept coming up everywhere over and over again. Matter of fact, one day I'm praying and I'm reading Romans 8:28 that all things happen for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And this piece about perspective, I can't get away from it. It's like every message that I listen to is bringing me back to this place of perspective. And finally, it hits me. Life is happening for me. What if I change my perspective in this moment to recognize that this moment happened so that I can be who I'm called to be? What if my desire for this remarkable life that I know I'm supposed to be living is right in front of me, but I am just so deep in the depths of my despair that I can't even see it. And so I'm realizing that moment, if life is happening for me, then there's a shift that I get to make right here, right now. I get to do something different. I get to be the person that I'm called to be. I get to allow what it is that I'm experiencing to transform the way I see myself. And so I began the quest to build what I now call my remarkable life. There was a blessing that I had a place to go. There was a blessing that my kids could do remote school. We were able to make the shift that clearly God had planned for me because it wasn't what I had planned for myself and be on a path to creating something incredible. You know what I learned during that time? I learned how resilient I was. I learned that on the ways that I used to depend on myself and think that I had all the answers, that they truly came from God. I learned to have reliance on something so much bigger than myself. And I recognized there was power in the story of what I went through. That everything that I was experiencing was not just shaping me for my own life, but it would help prepare me to serve others. And quite honestly, what I took away from it is that I now can use anything that I have gone through, through the lesson that it taught me, but I don't have to hold on to the feeling or emotion that was attached to it. And I use that to fuel me as I build my remarkable life. Oh.